All right, all right, all right. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the podcast. I am your host, Lockout Men. And in this podcast today, we got a lot to talk about. You know, there's this there's this invisible threat that's going on right now that we're still talking about. And it may last all the way up until August, damn near the end of summer. You know what I'm saying? Well, August is like the it's like the central point of 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 the summer. But they said it could last that long. There's lots to talk about here. <laughs> There's lots to talk about. So let's get into it. Whoops. There we go. What's up? What's going on, everybody? Lockout men in the building. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more for more content like this. I bring it to you all the time. Not every day, all day, but I give it to you the best way that I can. I'm gonna give it to you. Give me that funk, that sweet, that funk, that funky stuff. All right, so let's start off with the conversation right quick. So a while back, I did a video or I did a podcast, podcast video, however you want to do it, however you want to say it. I did a podcast video. Uh, the topic of that video was, let's see if I can find it. Uh, here it is. I can find it. The topic of that video was, let me see if I can bring it up. Let's see. Topic of that video was cop follow two black men around Illinois Walmart for allegedly wearing masks. And, uh, <laughs> and, and this, in in this, <laughs> In this video, the comment session is crazy. It is getting crazy. Um, the two guys that was in that that was in the video, they 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 jumped into my comment session. Now to let you guys know that you know the invitation is open for you to come on and chop it up with me about you know about what really happened because, like I said, I don't know what happened. All right. I'm 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 only going by the article. And this is the article, y'all. Hold on right quick. Let's see. This is the article right here. Atlanta Black Star. That's where I got the information from, bro. It says, video, cop follows two black men around Illinois' Walker, uh, Walmart for allegedly wearing surgical masks, asked them for ID. And this is, this is, this is the article. Right here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm just going by what what was said in the article. Now, you're right. You're, you're right. Let me let me explain something right quick. I don't I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm, I'm only going by what what the article said. And I, I did my homework, bro. There's several articles that pretty much said the same thing with with the Atlanta Black Star said, you know, the the police chief, you know, told his side, you and and the other guy told your side. And um uh, and um uh, and yeah, but I'm 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 just saying, I I just have an opinion. That's all. Everybody got one. I mean, you know, not not all opinions is valid, you know what I'm saying? But help me, you know, help me to un to better understand because you know maybe you maybe you felt some kind of way on on some of the statements I said and that's that's understandable you know what I'm saying you know maybe I am talking out the side of my neck or something like that but but let me know you know so like I said the invitation is open to you um let's let's get it in today actually we can do a live feed so get at me Lockout men podcast at gmail.com. I can actually bring you in the live feed and me and you both could chop it up about, you know, about your experience of what actually happened there from, from start to when you actually left. That's all. Now, Hey, I mean, it's like I said, I don't mean to offend anybody or nothing like that, but you know, a subscriber gave me the, 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 the article 
I read it. I, you know, being that it's talked about the pandemic and everything. So I decided to share it and, you know, my opinion, you know, so if you want to come on and, and uh, share your experience about what happened there, by all means, you know, by all means, but I'm just saying from what a lot of other things that's going on right now and a lot of other, and, and a lot of other people is trying to, you know, get their 15 minutes from what's going on right now. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the situation. I wasn't there. I can only go by what, um, what I have seen in the articles. Yes, yes, yes. The article. Yes. But it's always better to get it from the horse's mouth though. Right. Right. And at this moment, I am pri- I am privilege to have mr jamon best on to the show so let's go ahead and jump right into that conversation right quick yes sir what's up man what's up man how you feel this uh who who am i talking to right quick this is jamon jerome what's going on bro my name is jamon bro uh, oh, Jam- Jam- fine, Jam- uh, okay, Jamon, Jamon, my fault, my fault for mispronouncing your name, man. All right, so check, okay. so check it out, man. I, 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 I got you, uh, I got you on, um, on my podcast right now. Um, I got, uh, I got, uh, I got, you know, you guys is heavy in my, in my, in my tets, uh, <laughs> in my tets, uh, in the, in the comment section down over there. So, brother, man, uh, like I said before. Um, it's only my opinion and the information that I got it from was from the Atlantic, uh, from the Atlanta, uh, hold on, Atlanta Black Star, as well as other. Where is that based out of Atlanta, Georgia? Uh, Atlanta Black Star says, uh, the article was presented by Ashley, Ashley Atwell. And I think this is probably might be, uh, might be out of Atlanta. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but yeah. yeah, but that's but that's where that's why I got the information from. Plus, it was shared on uh, Facebook, and you know, like I said, I got it from I got it from one of my subscribers. So, brother man, okay. brother man, now that I got you on the line, man, clear clear up some mis uh, some misconceptions out there, man. So, are we live right now, or what is it? What's going on? Are we live or what? No, we're no, we're we're pre recorded. But as soon as we get finished, as soon as we get finished talking, it's going up. Okay, so what is it you want to ask? All right, so th- from start to finish, man, go go ahead and 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 tell me what 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 happened when you when you actually walked up into Walmart, man. Well, first of all, let me let me just uh, express that this um, this incident was 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 not expected. So, mm-hmm. um, so during some, a lot of uh, some times that people are having like where's the the real video, where's the video prior to walking into Walmart? I mean, how many people do you actually know that walk into a store to record? You know, right? So the incident was was unexpected. Okay. Yes, we did see the cop outside. Uh, he was parked in front of the store, actually just pulling in. Mm-hmm. And uh, we walked past him. We already had mask on. Mm-hmm. So once we walked past him, basically he had a chance to stop us right there and say, "Hey, well, guys, this is what's what's going on. You know, there's a policy for uh, our city or whatever, and you can't have mask on." Right, right. Uh, he didn't do that. So when we got we beeline to the Lysol aisle, mm-hmm. we went directly to the Lysol aisle. We started discussing about a Lysol. We looked back, and the officer was coming down the aisle. Okay. Um, and he was a police officer. We were police. Uh, we were police officer. So when he approached us, his first thing was, "Where's your identification?" Okay. Well, of course, there's going to be a question. Why do you need my identification? You know. Right. Okay? Right. You know. Um, you you so you in there. You in there shopping, and why would you? <laughs> why would you ask them for identification? What they look? What he thought that you guys exactly. look like kids or something? I mean, it, it, we didn't know. So when what he his exact words was, I need to see my identification because there's a city ordinance that you guys cannot wear masks. Okay. So, um, so we, of course, you're gonna ask questions. You know why? You know, right, so, right. So basically, it came down to us telling him, you know, well, we're not gonna show you our identification. He goes, well, if you're not gonna show identification, you have to leave. So hmm. my buddy D'Angelo reminded him that, hey, well, there's other people in the store with masks on. As you see in the article, right. a picture was taken of another uh, young lady, which was Caucasian, that was wearing a mask. So, okay. um, 
basically he, he said that if we didn't show ID and take our mask off, that we have to leave the store. Fine, we won't we won't shop here. We'll leave the store. So once he made me aware that this was getting you know out of hand, it was he wasn't going to calm down. That's, that's when, when I that's when you started the video. Now see that's now exactly. that's now, that's cool. That's cool that you that's cool yeah. that you said that because like I said prior to when the video actually started. You know how a lot, you 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 know how a lot of people like to start videos like right at the midst of the thing Absolutely. instead of instead of starting a video at the beginning. So that's where Absolutely. that's where I was saying that the video was started and I didn't know what was the situation prior to the video. Now that you clarify you know that, you know what I will you know what I will do for you though. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. um, actually, we have. Um, we will have access to the wall, the footage from Walmart real soon. Oh, okay. So the footage from the footage from Walmart will show that um, it, it's going to show me looking like patting my jacket pocket, looking for my phone for a good maybe ten seconds before I actually located my phone in my upper uh, upper right jacket pocket. Okay. I, I kept going, where's my phone? You know, trying to find my phone. Right. Right. So yeah. So yeah. So I was I just responded to you actually as I was walking out of the store. Yes, I did call him a piece of shit, but. He was nowhere near me. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't, I didn't. Curse no, you didn't. So yeah, that's where I, that's that's where I came in with the last piece of my commentary. He, you, you, he wasn't nowhere near you when when you said that to him because he felt he fell back and he was talking to the I guess the other shopper that probably was asking why he was following you guys or whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. And then that's when you said fucking piece of shit, and that's kind of that that kind of changed my tune there for a minute because in the beginning of the video as you heard i was on your side you know what i'm saying because like i said i was harassed in in the walmart at one point or another you know what i'm saying but when you when you called him out of his name that's when i was like oh well maybe it will probably be for you know for the views or whatever because you stopped yourself short of saying uh, this is going to go viral by changing up and saying that you was going to post it as soon as you got outside. Yeah, and and and, and I did say it was going to go viral because basically, um, living in Madison County, it, this happens daily. Mm -hmm. People are harassed, people are beat by these police officers, and I'm basically tired of it, man. I I'm tired of these police officers feeling like we don't know our rights, so we have to do anything they tell us to do, and that's not the case. Oh, okay, and um uh. To respond to another thing, um, there is police report has been filed um, oh, okay. on my report and on the other part. So we do have police reports. Okay. Um, copies have been to our lawyer. We both have copies as well. So police report has been filed. Uh, lawsuits and in order. So yeah, we're definitely working on this thing, man. Um, oh, okay. So y'all, like so, so you guys are. Can we get the Walmart footage? I'm sorry. I said you guys are taking it to the next level, then. Oh, definitely, man. We're going all the way with this because we we were right. Like, I like um, like we we did a interview yesterday with uh, another podcast mm -hmm. uh, live, and I I just I mean, we really wanted to say basically thank you to the people that support and and to the people that don't because you know, but we want to let our supporters know that there is no way that we would have people supporting us to this magnitude that we were wrong. Right. Like, dude, there will be no video share where we are licking or spitting on anything. I got you. We had just got those masks and gloves. You know, so we were just trying to stay safe, that's all. That's and it was unfortunate that we ran into that incident, but... Hey, it happened. We got to shine some light on it now, right? Yeah, I hear you. That's the, and I I appreciate you coming on and uh and uh you know telling your you know telling your side of the side of the story because as they always says, there's there's three sides to every story. There's your side, their side, <laughs> and then the truth is right That's in the right, middle. Right. I but agree. uh, but, I agree. But like I said, now now the officer was was he is. Is he an officer or was he a security guard? He's a sheriff. What is he? No, he's a sergeant. He's uh, he's a, he's Sergeant Brandon. Uh, I don't have his last name. Dur this this Shirley or something like that. Okay, but he's a sergeant for the Wood River Police Department. So he actually he's a sergeant, man. He's been doing this probably for a while now. Oh, okay, okay. So how was this? So as, as a matter of fact, we're I'm sorry, we're in traffic right now. So as a matter of fact, what I will do mm -hmm. is I will um. I will send you some information because if you're going to uh, report on this story, which is it's perfectly fine, but yeah. coming from the horses might be better. So that's why. I'll that's why I got you. Obviously. That's why I got you on. That's why I got you on now because you know you can clarify and explain you know everything that went on. 
Yeah. But uh, yeah, like we wanted everybody to know, man, this the incident literally lasted a couple of minutes. You know, it wasn't even a long. It wasn't long at all. Yeah, I see. But it, it just shows that it doesn't take. I mean, it doesn't take any time for something to go from zero to a hundred. But we wanted the reason I recorded him behind me was so in the video I didn't look like a threat, so he wouldn't be able to say that I was threatening him. But now we're at the point to where he told me that his body cam was on and recording. Mm-hmm. But there is no body cam footage. As you, if you see the news articles, even the chief of police said that he has to go by what the officer told him, not by the evidence of the officer's body cam. So now we're at this, we're at a crossroads trying to figure out why his body cam wasn't on and when was it turned off. If that makes any sense. That makes plenty of sense because you need to, you know, he he's going by saying he's going by saying whatever he did within the midst of that couple of seconds that it's not there. And you guys need to find out what, what was said, what was done and see from his point of view, because from, from your point of view, like I said, from your point of view, you know, we seeing everything from your point of view at the time you started, started the recording. Now he should have been recording all the way up to the, to the interaction with you when he started to ask you, you know, questions about, you know, your ID and stuff like that. I'm still tripping. I'm, I'm still tripping on the fact that why would he ask you for ID for like, yeah, he's yeah, but we that, the reason his reason was because there's a city and a state ordinance mm-hmm. that we cannot wear masks, and um, and it was during the pandemic, you know, like literally Walmart had just sold out of everything, so this was literally in the middle of everything going on. So, man, it, it was about it was about I I mean, you no, know, we're not the nurses or doctors, so we're doing what we thought was best. You know, we got those from family members. Hey, stay safe, guys. You know, we were traveling from Belleville to Wood River. Right. So this was so unexpected, man. Like like seriously. Like I even said in the interview, you know, my first interview, I never said the cop was racist. I right. don't even you know even, the guy. Right. You even but said it, that in the he, article. And I and I thought and I thought in the beginning of, of my podcast, I thought it was racial profiling. <laughs> that's what I thought at yeah, first. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and that's why I never, that, and that, that was my point. I never had to say that it was racial because, I mean, people, I mean, come on now. Like, when the article came out, there was a picture taken of a, of a Caucasian lady. She was able to make it through her whole shopping experience to the checkout line where we only made it a few feet into the store and was harassed like crazy, you know, just because we refused to show our ID and take our mask off. I mean, as you see, the masks were pulled down, right. but that was to keep down tension. We don't know what, like the guy kept reaching for his radio, but he never called back up. Okay. He kept reaching for his taser. Why was he, why did you reach for a taser for two people that are walking away from you, you know? Right. But yeah, it's, it's a lot, but it all come out definitely. Yeah. Like I said before, this, uh, the, uh, let's see, Wales, 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 where he said, uh, here it is. Police Chief Brad Wells told the Telegraph and the incident happened before it was common for people to walk around in masks. He also told the outlet that the unidentified officer was mistaken when it came to the store's policy pro- prohibiting masks. So he didn't actually he didn't actually work for the store. So no, he did not. So he wasn't he wasn't representing the store at all when he when he not at all. So could have been. So you said you walk you said you walked past him on the on the way in. So let me ask you this. From let me ask you this now. Let's now let's take a look at it from outside looking in. Not you know what I'm saying. You you uh, a, a couple of guys walking past. Um, you know, before this, you know, before the pandemic became serious, a couple of guys walking in, uh, walking in with face masks on. He's sitting in the car. He sees you. Um, what would you actually would think of the reason why he would confront you guys? What would you think was going I mean, was going through his mind? It's definitely. I mean, it's definitely racial profile. Even though, even as outside, I would see that it's racial profiling. Mm-hmm. I mean, and and it's like he tries to embarrass. Like, why would why not stop us outside if that's the case? Right. And like you just, I want to address that. You just said what the chief said. Well, he doesn't know Walmart's policy. That should tell the world there. First of all, he's not an employee for Walmart, so why would he know Walmart's policy? Mm-hmm. But he is a police officer and a sergeant, so he does know those policies. So 
and saying, man, turn your camera on if if you if you feel threatened or if these guys really are doing something to the magnitude of what people are saying we were doing, we will be in jail as terrorists. Don't you agree? I agree. I agree. I agree. That's and that's why I said and that's why I said to the point of you know maybe he thought that you guys was coming in there doing some shiesty stuff or something like that. So, but uh, I'm glad you came on, man. I appreciate the call in. I appreciate you coming in, telling your side of the story and all like that, and getting and like I said, I admit you, you get it right. You know what I'm saying? That's what you wanted. That that's what you want to do because a lot of us, a lot of us out here that's you know that's talking about the situation, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? We we don't know. We only could go by what what the article said. And like I said, from with the video, and I'll admit, like I said, at the end of the video, when you called him out of his name, it's it kind of it kind of changed my perspective a little bit. But I can I can under I can, I can understand your frustration. I can understand your frustration in the whole ordeal. I got you, boss, man. We'll, we'll reconnect. We'll be, uh, we'll be talking real soon. Like I said, we're, we're, we're traveling right now, so we'll be talking real soon. All right? all right, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Talk to you later. All right, now. All right, everybody. That was my, that, that was, that was my G. He called in. Uh, Jamon Best. Oh, hold on, right quick. All right, not not sure what happened here, but um, but yeah, that was my man Jamon. Jamon Best came on and and chopped it up with your boy to get the story straight about what happened over at the uh Walmart over in uh Wood River. Wood River. <laughs> I want to make sure it's Wood River, right? Uh yeah, Wood River. Wood ugh, God damn it, man. Wood River, Illinois. When they walked in and um and um got confronted by a Wood uh Wood River police officer and uh asked them to leave the store because they was wearing masks. Yes, sir. So definitely I appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, or at least uh, Jamin, Jamin, J German, J German, Bess coming in and uh, chopping it up with me. And um, and yeah, so there you have it. There you have it right from the horse's mouth. So that's what's up. They got uh, they 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 already got uh, stuff in motion. They already got their lawyers. They already got they already got the thing in motion. So, you know, much success to them. And uh, and hopefully everything uh, turns out all right for him. All right. Well, I would go into another. Um, I would go into another topic, but uh, I I think this is it. This should be it. So, if you guys like the content that I produce for you guys, yo, definitely let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on the Gmail. If y'all want to come on and chop it up with your guy, lockoutmen at gmail.com or lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com or get at me over at the Instagram. Y'all can get at me over there. Y'all feel me? So with that said, yo, thank you to Jamon Best, Jamon Jamin Best for coming on and chopping it up with me and setting the record straight. And for everybody else that's watching, thank you very much. And on that note, we are gone.